Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how we can screen share with VDO Ninja, uh, in particular screen share as a director. So we're going to invite a guest in, just myself. I'm going to bring myself in as a virtual cam so we get started. Now, the guest does not see the director by default. You have to enable the director's microphone and video on the bottom here by clicking this button. That will enable, enable the director's microphone by default. So they can see the director, but they can, they can hear the director, but they cannot see them. We can click this little gear icon and we can change our camera. So we have a camera enabled. Now as a director, we can hold command or control click on that. And we get stats on what the guest is seeing. And as well, the guest can control or command click on the video to see the resolution 360p. Now the guest can press this button in the top right, which will turn the video into a full window and the resolution will double. So if the, if the performer or guest wants to see some uh, fine detail, they can press that and they can zoom in and they can return to normal and the resolution will drop back down. Now, normally as a guest, if I share a screen, it works as simple as this, and it shows up as a secondary screen in the director's room and everyone else sees it. That's a production uh, tool of sorts where you need to have the, the talent still showing their face and being able to share a screen at the same time. And if they stop it, it gets rid of that stream. But as a director, it's quite a little bit different. Uh, a director is typically usually broadcasting to an audience. Uh, their computer is usually overloaded with production tools. And more importantly, the director is uh, special their connection is identified as the director. And so they get special uh, privileges. Now at the moment, Video Ninja only supports one director. So when we screen share as a director, it doesn't create a new stream. It doesn't um, create a, a second window. It simply replaces the current video stream with the screen share. So your webcam is replaced with a screen share. And if you stop the screen share, your webcam returns. This saves a lot of CPU power for the director because if they screen share with an audience, it's not creating two streams with twice the load. It is simply switching to the screen share. So this was the chosen uh, option at the moment for directors when they're screen sharing. It is a webcam or screen share. You also have this option here where we can uh, share a website. All right. We can stop that. That's useful for sharing maybe a YouTube video or a Twitch video, uh, but it too also replaces the director's window. That, that window has special powers because it's the director's video. And when you screen share, it creates a whole new stream and that stream does not yet have um, director status. Now, if you do want to come in as a screen share, as a director, uh, you don't need to use the director's room uh, at all for that. So you can actually hang up and just use the director's room as a management and you can join the room as just a guest. The difference is if you want to reduce CPU load on your guests themselves, you can add view with nothing after it to the end of the link. And when you screen share into the room, what we'll have, we'll have the screen share show up in the director's room still. We'll have this show up here. Right, and you will not be seeing any of the other guests because this view command uh, 
made it so there's we're not viewing any additional streams. So we're not really creating additional load for anyone in the room. So the director's room is here. If they still want to talk, they can talk and they can chat with everyone here and they can share their video. And the second tab you have open is useful for sharing your screen. And when you're done with it, you can hang up and that screen share is gone. You could share multiple screens to a room this way. Um, and as a director, of course, you have some advanced controls to, for example, highlight a guest, making that particular guest uh, the only video everyone in that room sees. So you, you in essence, have control over this button. Okay. So that, that is the reason why the director currently cannot screen share at the same time as their webcam within the director's room. It's been configured um, currently to, to be just one option. Now, if you do want to screen share and have a webcam, you can do this. And that is, uh, <laughs> it's a little bit funky, uh, but that is feed your OBS output into the director's room as a virtual camera. And then you can screen share and include your webcam as a source into uh, Video Ninja by means of mixing in OBS. All right, so we have OBS here and we have uh, video capture, display capture, and we have the virtual camera on. And the guests can now see it this way. Now, if the quality isn't good enough, there's a button here where the director now in version 18 can increase or decrease the bitrate. And so if you increase the bitrate, you'll have much higher quality video. So that is kind of nice. Um, and you can turn it down. Let's say something low. And this will conserve um, more CPU power. So we see that that's really low quality. And when you full screen this, it actually goes back up quite a bit. Anyways, uh, so that, that's one way of controlling the quality. Okay, I hope that helps a little bit. Um, yeah. Cheers.